Hey guys, Brandon back with DSC. Really excited to be back with y'all. Had to take a week hiatus to evacuate for some hurricanes. I have a lot of packages when I got back. I have a lot of inventory kind of gearing up for the football season to sell stuff. So really excited to share my recent pickups with you guys. Please comment, like, and subscribe for this video's giveaway. I'm going to be giving away two cards to one winner. I'm going to be giving away a Devin Booker rated rookie, Don Russ, and a Jordan Love rated rookie optic so some cool stuff here if you follow the instagram you saw i pulled the jordan love uh gonna be giving those away go ahead and uh comment like and subscribe guys all right guys i'm gonna hop into the raw stuff first this is all stuff that i'm gonna send off to get graded uh some are long-term holds some are some that i'm hoping to get back the beginning and middle of the football season uh that i think will do well so let's go ahead and start this off so first thing I've been picking up these 2004. This is the second year LeBron tops. Um, I've seen these sell from like 300 to 600. Some have even done like in the thousands. Uh, I just thought this one was really clean. Some more LeBron. Uh, I've sold a PSA 10 base like this for 99. They're beginning of the playoffs. Um, so this is a red ticket version. You can see the red foil, the red writing. I'm going to send that to PSA, see if I can flip that as well. Picking up a lot of these. If you look at Devin Booker's pop reports, you'll see that his prism has so many, and then all the other brands that are in that pop report have like less than 50 PSA 10s. Uh, so the Revolution, I think this is a cool looking card, and I think Devin Booker is a good player to invest in. Uh, I've been buying a lot. The only basketball I've really been buying now is players like LeBron and Giannis, or players that aren't in the playoffs anymore that I think are going to have a good progressive next season and people are going to have their eyes on. And Devin Booker is definitely one of them. This is a Josh Hart reactive blue mosaic. Josh Hart's one of my favorite players. A guy threw this in with some cards I bought, and I just wanted to bring this up because it's a great point if you're selling buying cards understand what the other person likes right what they're buying throw in a few extras and you might make their day so he got some great feedback i love the card and i'm definitely going to get it graded to slab it for myself so some more devin booker these short print hollows i've been buying these for players even if it's not their rookie i got some russell westbrook I've have it PSA, uh, James Harden, so that'd be easy to sell. First football one, this is uh, Josh Jacobs, uh, rookie, red, white, and blue. This is the Panini National VIP collection here. Um, I like this collection. This is one of the first packs I opened when I got back into the hobby. What people don't know is this red, white, and blue is actually out of 10. It's not numbered on the back, but there's only 10 copies of each player. So I got a couple of these in here you'll see. So Josh Jacobs. I have kind of a Pele collection, and soccer has just been taking off. Uh, so definitely looking out for some soccer deals. I just I thought this was a good deal and probably worth a good penny if it PSA 10s. Uh, James Conner is another player I'm, I'm big on right now. I just think he's going to benefit from Ben Roethlisberger coming back. Uh, and, you know, you just like his story. You just like – and people like him and uh, big market in Pittsburgh. So I think that would be a good investment there. This is really cool. Uh, I wanted to had to have this. This is a gold eight out of 10 DJ Moore with Joe Brady and Terry Bridgewater going there. Uh, I just think he's going to have a tremendous season and, um, always nice to pick up a gold and hopefully it, it PSA tens, but if it PSA nines, I really don't care. I still think it's worth the investment and it's going to be a big card for me in the future. Have the hollow DJ Moore here. Uh, and then AJ Brown's the other person. Cool. I got this for two bucks. Uh, this is rookie sensation Panini select silver. Uh, I got a Panini illusions rookie auto out of one ninety nine, I believe one fifty. excuse me out of one fifty. Cool. There picked that one up. And then I got a four card lot. Uh, two of the cards were damaged, so they're not going to PSA. They were just base prisms, but the gold prisms in really good condition and this red yellow optics in really good condition. So I'm going to send those off to get graded as well. Let's move on to the graded stuff. So I've been buying a lot of graded stuff. The main reason I've been buying a lot of graded stuff is because it's just such a long wait to get back from PSA. BGS is crazy long wait. Uh, and SGC is a long way as well. So if I can find a good deal already graded that I think has some upside, I've been pulling the trigger on those. So let's go ahead and do basketball first. So I've been buying these uh, Scotty Pippen silver prisms. Um, so funny story about these. Uh, I got two PSA Jim at 10s. Um, the guy only shipped one. So I, I, I sent a message on eBay and I said, look, I need to get two. 
Well, then he shipped me a PSA 9. So I mailed him again, and I was like, hey, uh, I still don't have the PSA 10. I think you accidentally sent a PSA 9. He's very courteous about it. I wasn't yelling or all caps or anything like that. You know, people make mistakes, and I understand that. Uh, and he handled it really well. He just gave me the PSA 9 for free, and uh, the other one is in the mail, the PSA 10. So if I don't get that, you, I will let you guys know. But uh, basically got a free silver prism out of that, so cool nice customer service there another basketball player you guys know i'm high on um, and these prices have just gone down so much i got two psa9 one blue velocity and one base prism of colin sexton you guys know i'm really big on him jackson hayes i've just done so well with these prisms um i picked both of these up for 60 each and the guy sent me that rat of blue mosaic i just i can easily sell those for 99 during the season and if he does any better or he gets more time next year it's just going to keep going up from there. Next, I have this Dwayne Wade. This is the only card in the stack I ever paid for. Uh, it was only 30 I think at 35 bucks is what I paid for it. But I don't know, it's just a cool looking card. I think the fatal mistake with this card is it's he's in his Bulls uniform. I think if it was a Heat uniform, I'd feel a little more comfortable with being able to sell this. But I love Dwayne Wade. Love the card. Don't mind if it'll stay in my personal collection. And you guys know my number one rule, buy stuff you like. SGC, this is the only SGC card in the video. I did just order a bunch of SGC football. Next video. But this is a Panini Revolution Trey Young Groove rookie. He's, he's underpriced right now too. Not really in front of mine, but he is just a scorer and I think he's going to be a great investment. This is a white mosaic. This is something that I'm hoping to sell by the end of this season. I have it up on eBay right now. When LeBron... Prices just get out of control. People look for other options, and I think inserts will be something they'll turn to. John Morant, his prices have decreased about 29% according to the Market Movers tool. So I picked this up for 40 bucks. I thought that was a steal. I think this will easily be a $150 card next season. All right, football. So you guys already saw, might already saw this card. But uh, again, out of 10, just thought this was a great pickup. Russell Wilson, big market. Love, well loved quarterback and you know it's only 10 copies so super short print i don't really care about the psa 9 grade i just you know there's not many of these out there so really like that and this i just thought was really cool i think i paid 17 dollars for this psa 9 premier level silver prism of a penny select jerry rice and i just think he's really collectible and you know i don't mind having this in the collection if it doesn't sell it's just a really cool looking card uh, you guys will see I am big on Ryan Tannehill this year. I just think he's kind of won the locker room there. People respect him. He's uh, with Rabel kind of building up that franchise. And if he does good, these were like super cheap. I think I'm paying about 50 to $75 for these. And I just, with the quarterbacks, what they are today and their tops chrome, I think they can shoot up so quick with such a, just a few games or uh, just a few wins there. So, um, I think these are going to be a nice, easy, long, like short to mid range investment. Uh, Michael Thomas has been exploding. Um, I found this flash prism on Facebook. I couldn't pass it up. I just thought, you know, with his silver going so high, these definitely have to follow. And I'm a huge Saints fan. So if it doesn't sell, I'm totally okay with keeping it. Some Daniel Jones. I have a few Daniel Jones in here. Uh, he's just, I feel, underpriced a little bit with his potential. Um, he's obviously going to be the franchise in New York, a huge market uh, for a little while. And I've just been picking up these Panini Selects. Uh, this is a silver prism. Uh, this is the Rookie Selections insert. Just thought it's a cool-looking card. I like that. James Conner. This was like 45 bucks. I really think this is... Going to be a quick sell at the beginning of the year. I mean, these tricolor prisms just look awesome. Steelers. Uh, this is a premier select rookie of Daniel Jones. Again, relatively underpriced, I feel, for the cards. This is a super, this is kind of a short print. We know the print runs in the premieres. I just think it's an easy buy there. Derek Carr. Uh, I got this for $8.99, this top chrome 1985. It's a rookie card. I really think this is easy move right here and these will sell really well. So next I got a Dalvin cook 2017 is just a crazy good year. If you can buy any 2017 boxes, I highly recommend the football. I mean, you have Dalvin cook, Alvin Kamara, 
Uh, Patrick Mahomes is a quarterback there. Um, you have all these people, these, and Christian McCaffrey is another one. And you have the <clears throat> the crazy thing about this is that there is no base rookie. It's just they're all silver prisms. Um, so I picked this up, I think, off of Instagram, of all places. Um, I just thought it was a good buy there. Some LSU is a DJ Chark PSA 9 Maroon Prism out of one, nope, 99. I thought it was 100. Love that. And then we'll end with some Kyler Murray. I picked this one up. I usually don't buy the college ones. I picked this one up because I felt it would sell really well being the red prism. And people, he's really high priced right now. Uh, there's a gold laser rookie I have at PSA that I'm dying to get back because I know it's going to 10. Uh, it's selling around 1200 bucks. Um, so I just think his stuff, the PSA 9s are going to come into play relatively soon. So, all right. Cool there. All right, guys. I hope you enjoyed that video. I hope you liked all my pickups or hated them. One of the two. Just let me know in the comments. Who are you picking up for the football season? Uh, and remember, I'm giving away two cards to two commenters, right? So comment below and uh, you can, I'll give you the first person a choice and the second person will get the other one. Devin Booker, rated rookie. Don Russ or a Jordan Love rated rookie optic. So enter the giveaway. See you guys later. Clear eyes, full hearts. Can't lose. Love you guys. See you later.